Hello there! So today I'm gonna continue talking about explosive Gauss rifle and let's go straight to the point. And first I wanna compare prime capacitors with perforating capacitors. But before we go testing there is actually one important data we should keep in mind. And it is this combo of damage multipliers that will proc upon dealing the second shot, rather it is a critical hit or just a normal shot. So here I go bloody and as you can see ballistic damage is better with prime, but explosive with perforating and the difference is not that huge. I mean uh, explosive damage of course, only 30 points. Well, the difference in ballistic damage is more than 100 for the second shot, right? Not bloody build and it's still gonna be higher in case of prime. Sadly, critical damage doesn't show explosive part because Puppy Hulk died before it broke. But we have over 300 difference in ballistic damage. Just using logic it is quite clear that the difference between explosive numbers would be quite less than 300. Alternatively, we can try anti-armor with the same everything. As we know, anti-armor plus perforating capacitors should ignore 90% of armor and this sounds promising. And of course additionally we have tank killer. Well, the field test shows that Prime is still on the first place, which is not a surprise. Critical hit would be tricky here, but it is another story. Let's move on. If we compare prime capacitors on different legendary modifications, such as bloody, anti-armor, quad and two shot, there is a clear indicator that anti-armor is kinda useless for Gauss rifle if you actually care about big damage numbers, cause there is no difference in ballistic damage between anti-armor and quad. Explosive part, yes, is different and gives us 90 points more per shot. But I think what ammo capacity would be better, I mean uh, like more important in this case, cause 5 charges in a clip is true sucking for such good weapon. 2 shot actually loses big time in damage numbers dealt by explosion. If we deal damage with no tenderizer nor follow through, anti-armor is better. In case of mix, <laughs> we can squeeze 9 points more with 2 shot. Bloody obviously is a champ here, but the challenger would be actually quad version, cause low ammo capacity is sucky sucky and the only question pending if we actually can one hit mobs with quad gauss rifle. Let's find out. So we will probably need Hefe, Kopaniti cause I go solo, Blight Soup to one shot anything not one shootable. Blight Soup sounds scary. So let's consume some cranberry relish and uh, psychotats. Now I need an energy bubble head just to be able to read this magazine. But do I actually need all these buffs to deal really devilish damage? Let's find out really really quick. Hello Senorita Mini Hulk. And he's dead. So if you can one shot a 100 level mini hawk, better to go with quad version. And if temper buffs are present, let's see how powerful quad gauss dude is. Speaking of critical hit, let's see if he will survive. Boom! Hey! Almost. Almost not survived. I'm thinking if Bethesda wanna make us happy, they could give us a little toy with double ammo capacity as a bonus legendary modification. Well, in this case, the best row would be Vampire Explosive, less AP cost, right? Not super OP, but yes, super fun to use. And what's your best legendary row anyways? Let me know in the comment section, please. Obviously every second shot must be critical, because in VAS we don't always hit the target and there is no room for concentrated firing 3. Speaking of mummy crap, well she will not resist super long, but again, critical damage would be very necessary here. Remember to have critical savvy plus 33 luck to make every second shot critical, right? And she will die if we can actually hit her. 
finally. And obviously you don't need to farm ammo, cause mobs will drop enough to feed your senorita bestia. Scorched bitches aka bad girls have a whole bunch of hit points now. So obviously you will be more effective with automatic weapon here. But prime capacitors do the job well, providing us with additional damage to make Scorchy Mafia family more squishy. Hey, come on, you! Oh. And to be completely honest with you, the description damage with no temporal buffs is 622, not 666. Energy or small guns bubblehead will make it 666. But obviously, it is quite enough to one hit 100 level Mihawk. Or oh, one shot as you wish. Here's the perk loadout I'm using in this video combo of Rifleman, combo of Science, Nerd Rage, Tenderizer, and the perks for Vast Creed build. And some other perks like uh, Adrenaline, which else? Uh, well, Tank Killer. Ah, Demolition Expert and Grenadier are must have, obviously. <laughs> and my legendary perks. I have specials plus follow through. And here are all active effects, including my mutations. But what do I have? Adrenal Reaction, because my build is bloody. Eagle Eyes to make more critical damage. Heart Mentality is always good to have. Well, Speed Demon to reload faster. And specials... I ah, wait. I forgot to join a team. Well, well, I have 36 luck? Yeah, <laughs> this is too much. Basically, I need only 33 plus 1 point in case of blight disease. In the next video, I gonna try Gauss Pistol, I guess. Or if you want, we can make a full health build with Gauss Rifle to see if anti-armor is any good there. Let me know in the comment section. I'm done for today. Big thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Hey. Boom. Come on, game. I just told them Gauss Rifle is OP. Ah. Uh, um.